Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool effect called a infrared effect. Uh, now, this is going to be a fake infrared effect, but basically infrared takes uh, your image and turns it into this weird color pink image. It's really hard to explain. It's very technical, but there's no reason to explain that right now. I'm going to show you how to get this same effect, uh, similar effect in Photoshop using only about two adjustment layers. So uh, just follow along here. And if you want to, before we even start this process, you can actually create an action. Uh, you can start recording an action of your steps so you can do this automatically. You can see if we go up to our uh, window here and go to our actions panel, I actually have a fake infrared effect right here that I've already done these steps for, but I'm going to show you how to do it uh, so you can follow along. So the first thing we need to do is go to our adjustment layers and we're going to choose the color mixer. So we're going to go to our color mixer here and the values that we're going to put in here are specific values that we want uh, to get the, a same, the same effect each time. So specifically for our red channel, that's pretty much the only one we're going to mess with for this adjustment layer. We're going to change our values to zero for the red and then green for, uh, we're going to go to positive 200. So just type that in there and then blue channel or our blue, uh, blue layer here, we're going to go to a negative 100. So that's going to change our image to a little bit more of a uh, more on the orange or yellow side and we're going to change our blending mode for this layer to lighten. So for that adjustment layer that's basically all we need to do. Now we need to get one more adjustment layer and that is going to be the hue saturation adjustment layer and we're going to change instead of it saying master we're going to change to yellows and that's only going to affect the yellow colors. So now we need to change our hue to negative 100 and we'll go tab down, we'll do a negative 20 for the saturation and our lightness is going to be zero, but you can change it uh, depending on what your, what your, the, the, uh, how you like your image. If you like it a little bit darker, totally fine. If you want them a little bit more saturated, more washed out, you can definitely do it that way. Now the next thing we're do going to do is change to our uh, blue channel. Uh, we're going to go over here to the blues and we're going to do just one change here and we're going to change that to a positive 10. And that's not going to change your image too much. You can see we can toggle that off, turn it back on. You're really only seeing a lot of change down here. Uh, but we can also play with the lightness. We can uh, kind of desaturate it a little bit or brighten it up, however you want to do it. But that is pretty much the infrared effect. Now you can play this effect on a multiple, uh, multiple uh, variety of images. This image, uh, th this effect technically works a little bit better when you have uh, stuff that has a lot more greenery in it. So you may see an infrared effect on a lot of images where um, you have a, a lot of foliage, uh, some cabin images, some woods images. Um, it does work really well on winter images as well. It works really kind of, it gives you a cool effect there, but uh, you can definitely play with this effect and see what it works, uh, how it works for your images there. So if you've created an action, all you need to do is stop the action now and uh, import more images and you can start playing with this effect uh, to see what kind of, uh, kind of cool photos you come up with. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleekland and I'll see you in the next one.